that's what they're waiting for. Oh well, no, we've got yeah. life. I'll take it away, Q. Sure. Hi everybody, welcome to Vanilla TV. This is Cube, and joining me today is Hildreth and Warden on the stream, and you're watching the final of the Reddit Round Robin 3 Cup. Um, the two teams are Jolly Ranchers and Sheeples. Jolly Ranchers being in blue and Sheeples being in red. And this is the final map, King of the Hill Viaduct. Decider, first to three I assume, like clear we had on like side. And already seeing them, um, just a few light classes exchanged, but now the frags are coming in for Sheeples. Stark is doing work on the sniper, we're talking about Dr. Epic. He hasn't had much influence in this middle and does get sniped by Stark. So this yeah. is looking like Sheeple's middle. Definitely good aggression, they're getting some time on the point now, but uh, Charlie Ranchers haven't actually backed out that much. They are starting to now, just as the point is getting capped, they've actually Uber to try and save it, but it's a bit too late. We're going to see if Shark, uh, Sheeple's can hang on to this. They have managed to hang on to it, so the whole Uber, they're going to pour, force back in now. Yeah, good good work from Johnny Ranchers, recognising that it was a bad Uber and just scattering, but... Oh, well they are actually getting some frags. Acid flashback has been unseen on the flank, gets two kills. He does go down in the end and Dr. Epic drops Zeal. Here he comes into the game, finally. And this yeah, we should see uh, Jolly Ranchers push back and try and take the point here. They've definitely yeah. got enough picks. Demon Man coming in for this main spamming hit. Pyro's oh, been launched Pyro across jump. the map. If he gets the medic kill, that'll be amazing. He did get a flare. What's the HP? Oh, he's got 100 HP, he's going to he? be okay. Did he use the detonator there? He, no, he got uh, he used the rocket, reflected oh, the rocket back into the ground. I think. Surfed the rocket. That's pretty amazing. <laughs> You're learning a lot the about how to play that today. Yeah, <laughs> today really showed me up. Yeah, uh, folks. But yeah, Jolly Ranchers just need a little bit of time on the point to be able to cap it. They've got a good 30% Uber advantage. So see them push the point now. They've got a full Uber and they're only lose, losing their pyro. They're going to get this point. They're going to Uber, see if they can catch the Medic Kid. Yeah, they do get him caught, get great stickies there. And they, they need to get this demo on the flank. Demo just about survives. I saw a great pipe on the scout, actually. He gets away with 1 HP, 3 HP demo, very weak. They're out of the fight. Good push from Johnny Ranchers, as I'm joined here, obviously, by Cube, F SNSD Pyro. I've been mentioning you all day, just so a couple of the people watching are probably... Um, Reddit watchers, public players, they don't really know too much about 6016 or whatever, but they've heard of SNSD, I'm sure. This is interesting, both teams have got a bit of time on the point, pretty equal Ubers now, and um, Sheeple's just trying to get a bit of time on the point. This is where the heals are really important for the medic, if you can put them in the right people, like really work hard on getting the people who are weak up to health, like the demo man. Look at that, denying the point. They're getting a couple of kills here. Ooh. Oh, that's a spy comes round. He was looking for the medic pit, but medic was hugging the wall really tight. Takes the heavy instead, which is obviously a good substitute. Yeah, look at that. Oh, Kala Kalisi goes down with 97% Uber. When they lost that heavy, they really had a big hole in their um, defense there. And they elected to just try and hold on for the Uber, but just didn't get it. It was really unlucky. And now Sheeples are back in it. They're back in the lead with the timer going down. No, I Four think they got a bit too aggressive there. They've lost two picks by trying to hug the left wall really tight. And we should see uh, Jolly Ranchers pushing back here. Yeah, they are doing. They've got to get this Uber pop out of um, Sheeples. You know, do what they did last time. Just stay alive. They have managed to force it, yeah. It's just with a spy at the moment. <laughs> it's not doing anything. The pyro is blowing the scout back with it. It's been a bit of a wasted Uber, in my opinion. Oh, Medic got sniped. I think that was a full volley shot from Dr. Epic, who follows it up with a headshot and another headshot. Wow, really good play by Dr. Epic. Yeah, three kills, huge play. The scout has gone behind for uh, Sheeples, but it just look like Jolly Ranch is going to get his point. Here comes the scout, takes down the demo. There is a Uber from... Uh, wow, the scout's Jolly still Ranchers. alive. How did he manage to do that and stay alive? Took down the demo and the soldier. Yeah, he takes back round to get the health back. That was a great play. Us, the Uber was all focused and on the left side. It, he came in on the point and just blocked it for a bit. I mean, they got the cap. They got some kills in the cap. And just maybe um, Sheeples can push back in here. Start yeah, with some great definitely should be looking to. Yeah, 
they might be a bit tentative without the Uber, but they should try and get some presence on point now. Yeah, I mean, as um, Flashback has tried his best to deal damage. He does go down though. Some focus first, they will get this point, but Jolly Rangers recognise they can't really hold it with their numbers of advantage. The meds can run back, but they don't have much time. 30 seconds, I guess if they've got one Uber push to come in, Pro Castwick is on, on the soldier. He got a couple of kills here, the one kill. So there's a couple of players overextending the pyro. The oh, spy. medic comes in and pick. I mean, sorry, spy comes in to pick the medic. That's so what we were talking about before about the spies coming in there. Uh, key times, yep. Yeah. Getting the key. Still going to be difficult, I think, for uh, Jolly Ranchers to be able to hold this. We've got to hold it for a whole minute. They've lost a few people already. Stark is yeah. still alive, doing great work. It's a big sniper fight between Doctor Epic and uh, Stark. They've got to get Stark down, basically. Doctor Epic sees him. But he, he doesn't look at him, he's looking at other people, he's sniping up, that's not just sniping all the other classes except each other. It's a headshot with the ambassador from Mars, Stromsky has a sick shot. Oh, last minute block, but I think they've got this. But yeah, some brilliant clutch play from uh, Sniper and they tried their best to uh, draw their answers, but I think there was a, some high level DM from the Snipers I have to say. And some of the other players as well be interesting to see if they get focused more at the second round. Yeah, I'd be I'd be targeting the sniper if I was um, Mars. Oh, demo man goes straight down. Lovely pick by Stromsky oh. and a reflect by Professor Gentleman. That was a sick reflect. This is kind of even at the moment, but more point presence from uh, from Sheeples. Professor yeah. Gentleman is just blowing them back. Sheeples should really be getting some presence now on the point. They've got way more players available. No, I've really well, yeah, yeah, I've just seen that myself. They've nearly got it, 99%. Should be taking it as soon as they get it. Yeah, it's Khaleesi is out, and he's healing the spy at the moment. He's, he's weak, he's only 45 HP to pick up the health back, be fine. Oh, he pops, so it's not a very good Uber. Let's see if the Devil Man can make something of it, force the counter pop. No, Zeal's just gone out, he's not doing anything. And Stromsky converges on the players as they come in. Picks up a 2k there. So that's the longer Zeal holds this there, the more I think he's going to drop it. I know it's only a crits to drop, but... Yeah, okay, you really got to use that crits. It's me. perfect time for Severus now. He's got so many players around him. I'd be popping it now. Babes, he's wasted a lot of his ammo. He doesn't. He's just said no, he doesn't want the crits. So I think they're going to go with their heavy. Here comes yep. the crits. Don't catch the medic. Or do they? The medic's on fire. He does go down the flare from Professor Gentleman. And look at this aggression from Sheeples. Maybe they could overextend though. I don't know. They've, they've lost a few players. He all goes down actually. Baxter from Mars. Yeah, now the sniping's coming in. Start trying to spot out where uh, Dr. What was his name? Dr. Epic. But um, they should really be pushing Jolly Ranch, there's just numbers, but the aggression from Sheeples was just distracting them. Some sick flares from Professor Gentleman as well, I've been really impressed by some of his play in this game. Dr. Effort does end up taking down Stark, so let's see if he can get some picks whilst he's still alive. Yeah, Professor Gentleman's just been on the cliff behind, causing panic. I think he stayed just here in the point, because they were, they had numbers, and they, but they were so worried about the players on the cliff, they didn't push push the point and they've just lost it. they haven't even capped it and they're down them two minutes here's another crits for zeal not looking good at least use it now again when they got the 10 percent advantage are they gonna crits pyro i don't know the force oh my word <laughs> first <laughs> gentleman takes out uh kelsey uh about 98 percent i think with a mid-air flat and hi my this first gentleman is either new superstar pyro Someone pick him up, quick. I know, he's been really impressive with his uh, DM in this game. Have to see, man. Maybe you can get some prim level Highlander mentor in. <laughs> you can probably teach me a thing or two. Yeah, anyway, here comes Zeal around the right side with this Crits Creek. With his heavy man, heavy weapons guy Neem on a scout. He sees the man, he needs this Crits pop now. 
He does get it popped. Can he pick up any more frags in the heavy? Gets the demo and a sniper. This is a good crit until Mars came in and backstabbed. I think they need a. I think maybe they need Professor Gentleman with them when they crit. I mean, he's been doing some great, like, combo kills with the flares and stuff, but. Protecting uh, that medic. Yeah. At the same time, they've not done anything wrong this round. It's going to be a perfect round. We haven't even got the point for a second. It's going to go to overtime, but everyone's cleared up on the point. Maybe I'm being too harsh in my criticism because <laughs> that was that was the perfect round. Even if uh, they did drop their combo there, it was just sort of it was just sort of the rest of the team. If they did enough damage, the rest of the team could make up for the. Uh, Make up for those deaths and they're two to nil and they they're on match point aren't they? I can't remember if it's first to three or first to four. I think it is brilliant play from Severus does loads of damage to Korf. Stromsky picks him up, but Zeal gets bully shot. No, it was dead ringer, sorry. I my bad, my mistake. They've been confusing me all game. So no no medic kill. And look at this sheeples dominating the points, taking that momentum. Only one Sly comes in and takes the medic though. It's one of those key picks. He got another pick as well. Nim the heavy, so two key picks. They've got a massive lever advantage now. Trolley ranches. Yeah, they just need to start pushing now. They maybe and yeah, they got enough people. That spy is doing a lot of work. On I think he's exposing Professor Gentleman's sort of uh, I'd say roaming role. Like you have, he's not really doing what what you mentioned before the game about protecting the combo. Yeah, he's going more for picks, I suppose. If he's not going to do that, then maybe they should be more aware. Maybe they should have a scout responsible or something, engineer. But then not dealing with spy. Spy coming up behind the medic. Oh, he gets bumped up into the air. I don't know if you managed to catch that on stream. Mm. But uh, spy was coming up behind the balloon medic last when he has Uber. And just as the backstab happened, he caught a pipe and jumped up into the air right above the spy's head. And Uber's got saved by the opposite team's demo man, really. Yeah, that's unlucky for him, but he's doing work for his team in this game. He's get he's getting the kills just when he needs them, and finally we're seeing the hold from Jolly Ranches, but Stark is saying no and sniping people down at will. They need to do something about Stark presence and Stromsky flanks it and picks Kalisai as well. This point's going straight back to Sheeples. Yeah, Stark does end up going down, but only after three or four picks. Something you don't—I don't think you actually see this much in Viaduct, but scout flanking and picking the medic on this map. It's not something I've seen, but I've seen Stromsky do it a couple of times this game. So yeah, this down of thirty percent Uber disadvantage, but I feel this map is more about numbers than. Uh, oh wow! Professor Gentleman with an air reflect and a oh, flare. Two, two flares, one before and one afterwards. Wow, I'm not going to say anything bad about his spy checking. When you can do that, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> it doesn't really matter what the other team's spy is doing. Superb clutch play from him. Yeah, he's been really impressive. And uh, Sheeple's just holding on to the point. I wonder if this is going to be the end. They've only got 1 minute 20 to hold on to it. Seeing a bit of a pushback now by Jolly Ranchers, but... Yeah, we need to see a big backstab. He's been doing it all game, Mars, as I'm watching him with the Dead Ringer. He's get in there behind the medic. He's going to decloak somewhere. He's not Dead Ringer, sorry. He's actually gone for the sniper. That's, a... That's actually a wise choice of the work he's been doing, but they've just lost Kalisai again to another flare from Professor General. <laughs> he's all over him today. Mars yeah, look at this forward players. Well, the medic's standing right back on the point, but all of his players are going forward, getting frags. Yeah, it's the sort of thing where if you see an experienced team, they would they would pick these overextending players quite easily, I'd feel. But it's not happening at the moment, Jolly really Ranch. They can't do anything. Here's, they go with one last desperate push, I'd say. You see the medic set up on the left, 60% Uber. If I was Zeal, I would just push in now and wrap the game up. I mean, they don't they really need to, but they just prefer a bit more aggression. Stark and sniping has been controlling this map as well. I suppose that's why Mars has been targeting him. Here they come, though. Jolly Ranch. Spy behind. Oh, I've got spotted by the NG. Well played. Just before he gets the medic backstab, and I presume we're just going to see an Uber on point here with five seconds left. Yeah, they. Actually, some great play again from the spy pick the medic Kalisai 
and that is going to be GG or is it GR? Yeah, it's GG here. So, no, there's a lot of GRs and GGs, not sure. Yep, yeah, GG. There we yeah, go. so the winner of the Reddit round robin number three tournament is Sheeples. Congratulations to them, I'm not sure what they win against bragging rights he's mentioned. Commiserations to Jolly Ranchers, they were just outplayed in the, on the day of superior skill. Skill from uh, from Sheeples, he played really well. This Professor Gentleman was both maps I've seen him play. As he plays a GG down the stream. <laughs> yeah, it was, uh, it was a really good match actually. It's a shame it wasn't a closer final, but Sheeple's definitely showing that they're the team to beat. Um, so I'll just wrap this up for the VOD. Um, this has been Villa TV, casting the Reddit round robin number three. I've been Cube. Joining me has been Hildreth and Warden on the stream. Huge thanks to him for streaming all afternoon. Yeah, huge props to that. And thanks um, for casting this with me, Cube. No problem. You can catch all these games. Should be going up onto our YouTube channel probably later this evening. If you missed anything or want to watch Professor Gentleman going huge again. But thanks very much and see you next time. Yeah, and uh, we should probably say thank you to the organisers. True. Uh, maybe maybe it's a bit too late for that, but thank you to the organisers for making this tournament. It's good fun to watch. That's it, basically.